welcome back to my channel. My name is Jennifer, if you're new here, and I'm an expat here living in Dubai with my French husband Laurent and my two daughters, Isla, who's four, and Iris, who is 20 months. Before becoming a stay-at-home mum, I was an early years and primary school teacher, and now I create content about motherhood, Montessori, and homeschooling. So if that's content that interests you, then please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you what's inside my diaper bag. Now, I still have a diaper bag even though um, I don't actually have any diapers inside. Um, I don't have any nappies because, uh, well, Isla is four and has been potty trained for three years and Iris uh, is fully potty trained as well at 20 months. So I don't actually have diapers in here so you'd be wondering what on earth do you carry around with you? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you what is in our sort of go bag, what we take with us when we need to go to the doctor's office, when we need to go to a restaurant or a special occasion, or we're going somewhere where we know that there's not gonna be really much for the girls to do. Um, well, we have this bag ready to go, and it's actually my son Vino uh, diaper bag that I have had since Isla was born. So, Without further ado, let's get into the video. So you might be actually quite surprised what is in my diaper bag because very little of it is actually Montessori aligned at all and that's kind of the point. Um, the things that I put inside uh, my bag when we need to go to a restaurant or a doctor's office, they really need to be novel items that the girls don't usually get exposure to um, and they don't have a really a chance to use inside the house. So uh, let me just open it up and let you see. Uh, bearing in mind, I have not cleaned out this bag in quite a while, so I actually, I'm not entirely sure what's in there. Um, it is quite heavy, I have to say, um, but we just put it in the car, so it's no big deal. So the first thing inside the girls' diaper bag is this big bag of plastic figurines. Um, they are just a mishmash of random toys. Now, you'd be wondering where I actually get these from. Um, I have a lovely, lovely neighbour next door who has an older daughter and uh, she's constantly bringing me um, toys and things that her daughter no longer plays with. And um, so whenever she has a clean out, she comes over with books and toys. It's so sweet. Um, so what I tend to do, because it's just too much toys and uh, some of the toys are not uh, toys that I really want cluttering up the house. Um, I do like a sort of quiet space um, with not too many like plastic or noisy um, or noisy toys. So anyway, um, so what I do is I bag them up and I put them in my go bag and it's just something novel and interesting that the girls can play with when we're out and about. And in here they've got like Disney princess figurines, they've got little fairies and clothes that can be changed. Um, yeah, it's just a random bunch of little figurines, if you can see in there. Um, just random, but that's the best part of it. The, the girls love opening this up and just rummaging through and seeing what's inside. Um, the next thing inside are some books. And these books actually came from the girls' uh, Christmas advent calendar. Um, if you saw what I got the girls for Christmas, uh, you'll have seen that we had uh, the Disney Christmas advent and you got a book a day um, for the Christmas advent. So what I did was I just collected all the little books and they're just perfect for the car um, because they're not really a dangerous, um, what do you call that? projectile, that's the word, um, you know, if, if we, God forbid, we were in an accident or anything, like they're, they're not heavy books, they're just tiny little ones. Um, so these are perfect for the car and they're just really great uh, to go with us wherever we go. And the good thing is, is I've got 24 of them, so I can just uh, rotate them. Uh, next inside here we have um, this pretty book and our Iris absolutely loves these and um, she loves just going through 
um, all of the pictures and just naming the objects. That's what she's into just now, just pointing at things and getting me to name them and getting her dad to name them in French as well. Um, so she really loves that and it's a great way to entertain her, especially like in a restaurant um, or something for her to look at um, if, you know, if we have to wait anywhere. The next thing is this Melissa and Doug reusable sticker set and it's a whole bunch of different vocations. I actually got this as a gift for Isla's birthday uh, from a friend of mine. And so inside you've got like different um, places. There's the school, restaurant, um, hospital and things. And then you have these little people that need to get dressed up. And then they come with these sort of reusable stickers um, with different clothes and things like that. So for example, for example, this one for a surgeon. And so you can dress them up. Now the one thing that I might say about this is that the stickers really don't keep their stickiness like it says on the pack. I mean it says reusable but to be honest these are covered in fluff and they'll probably have to be chucked um, quite soon. However I've gotten quite a bit of life out of them. That's lasted us a year um, going out and about so it's not too bad actually um, but they do lose their stickiness especially when you've got little ones and they're dropping them on the floor and getting covered in fluff and goodness knows what else. Next inside because we all love them are Melissa and Doug water wows and um, these are don't really um, these don't really excite Isla at all very much anymore um, but Iris loves them so she's getting into them now so it's really great she's Isla has just been able to pass them down to her sister and um, so if you don't know what these are um, where have you been no I'm just kidding um, basically you get a little pen you fill it with water and then you can color in the picture and um, just using water and it's quite cool because things that you can't see um, are revealed once you cover them with water and you colour it in. Really cute and will give lots of entertainment, especially if your child is under the age of four. Um, these are really great. For Isla, um, it's the same idea, but it's a little bit more up her alley. This is the horses and unicorns one and it's really great because at, at the front there are the ones that you colour with water and at the back there's actual colouring pages that you can use markers for, just make sure your child doesn't get them mixed up. Um, but she's really into that, so that's more her style now. Um, but it's the same idea, so any sort of water colouring activity is really great because it's mess free and all you need is a little bit of water. Um, I actually have a whole little bag in here. This is from when we flew with Emirates. Um, you always get free stuff when you fly uh, with Emirates. I'm sure other airlines as well. Um, but in here we have uh, the Osborne Poppy and Sam's ABC sticker book. Um, so I was, I think, almost finished this, I think. Um, so in here it's just sort of working on just sort of working on the alphabet. Um, so they get stickers and they have to stick for each letter of the alphabet, different things that begin with it, and then finish the picture as well. Um, it's really good just for a little bit of revision of the sounds um, and the letters, really. Um, it's a bit simple for Isla because she already knows all of her letter sounds, but she quite enjoyed it. Um, and we sort of extended it by thinking of other things, uh, beginning with those sounds. And then just really any kind of sticker book um, is usually a winner. And what I would suggest though is you just check that the sticker book doesn't also have activities that require pens. You know, like for example, um, um, spot the difference or a, like a maze or something that you need a pen to follow. Because um, that's a bit of a nuisance if you need the pen as well. It's better if it's just stickers. Um, but here's one I just got from home bargains, 79 pence um, when I was back home. So just anything like that, um, I always pick up if I see them really cheap. Um, I've also got this one, it's the 555 sticker fun. I've got the horses and unicorns one. 
and I've also got the under the sea one. Now, what I will say about this is Isla isn't really that fussed with stickers, you know, just stickers for stickers sake. And for this one, it's you're just really decorating each page. Um, and as you can see, there's still a thousand, there's still so many stickers left. She's not really into it. And um, when we go out, I mainly give this to Iris. She just likes the stickers just to stick them um, wherever. And um, they don't really go in the book. Um, so to be honest, I'll probably take this out. Um, and then the other one is great. I love the under the sea one. However, um, they're almost too good to just stick stickers on because they're actually um, all the different levels of the sea inside this book. So what I might actually do is cut this up and laminate it and actually keep it um, for when we're learning about Under the Sea because the, the pictures and the information is just too good just to cover it in stickers and throw it away. Um, so I'm actually going to remove both of these <laughs> from the bag. Um, I don't know why I didn't take them out before. And then inside, again, more stickers. These were just leftovers from um, Isla's birthday when she was two. It was an under the sea party and I just don't know what to do with these. Um, so they just come with us and then uh, I give them to Iris so that she can stick them about. And then in here, I also have like two, two little notebooks so the, kid, the girls can use these to stick the stickers in. Um, but I also make sure that I take a pot of our pens so that they can colour, they can draw and do whatever they want with those. Then next inside the bag, I just have a sandwich bag with these really cheap Legos. Um, I got these out of Dezo and it's so cheap. Um, but to be honest, all of the stuff that I pack in this bag, I don't care if any of it goes missing, it gets ruined, gets destroyed. That's kind of the whole purpose of this bag. Um, I just don't care really much about any of it. Um, so if it gets lost um, on the airplane or if, you know, if we're in the car or if we're at a restaurant and we forget something, it doesn't matter. It really, it doesn't bother me. And um, so I get like cheap knockoff things rather than the real thing. And I avoid taking any of my expensive uh, toys, my wooden toys or any of the Montessori materials. They don't come with us because I don't want them lost or ruined. And then from the neighbor, I've never seen these before in my life. They're called Shopkins and it's a whole tin. Like this thing is full uh, of these weird little, I don't even know what they are. They're like miniature stuff with like faces on them. So like there's like a teapot with like a cat, a bear's face or something. I don't know. I don't really get it, but whatever. The point is there's thousands inside this little tin. Um, it's easy to transport because it came in the little tin. Um, thank you, neighbour. And uh, it's great because the girls just love sort of rummaging and looking at all the different things. And Isla's in that imaginative stage now where she can take anything and create a story with it. Um, so it's really great just to keep it, keeping them sort of amused while we're busy doing whatever it is we need to do. And then on the side pockets, um, Isla's got her water bottle just now, but um, I highly recommend these Yeti bottles um, by the brand Yeti. absolutely love them. Um, I told you in another video before that I got these, but I wasn't sure about them yet. They are amazing. I, they never, ever leak. They never get mouldy. They never have that weird metal taste. Um, and the, the, what do you call that? The, the bit that you suck the water out of. Um, why can't I think of words? Uh, anyway, uh, the bit that you drink from, um, it's hard so the girls can't chew them. We've had like in the past like camelbacks and there was another one with like from South Africa I think it was. They've got these sort of silicone bits. <laughs> Um, for drinking out of, but the thing is the kids chew on them and then they break off and then it's gross as well like oh and the cracks and things get bacteria these are just solid um, solid plastic and solid metal and um, they are a little bit heavy but the, both the girls manage um, and Iris has had one of these since she was like I don't know like 15 months and she's been fine with it and um, it's great keeps cold things cold hot drinks hot um, and just great, great bottles. 
And then one more thing inside the diaper bag itself is this um, book, uh, this VTech. Now, I am not a fan of VTech. <laughs> um, I don't like noise. Um, I like things to be quiet. Um, I don't like noisy toys. Uh, however, um, we sometimes get gifted things. Um, whatever, it is what it is. And what I tend to do is if I'm gifted something that's a little bit noisy um, and just too noisy for my tolerance level in the house, then what I will do is I will make it part of our go bag. Um, so it still gets a lot of love, it still gets a lot of use. The girls are still able to use them, um, just not in the house. Um, I think I would lose my sanity if that was the case. Um, so what I do is put it in the go bag and they can use it when we're out and about. They can go and annoy other people um, and use it in the car or whatever if we've got a long journey. Um, in the holidays we went to Dubai Safari Park which was amazing. Um, so stuff like this is great just for those long journeys um, and also they're great if you don't want your child to fall asleep on the way home or whatever, you don't want them having a nap. Um, because there's nothing worse than your child taking a nap at like four o'clock and you want them to go to bed at a decent time. So yes, that's what we do with any sort of electronics that we get. Then we have a whole other bag now that Iris uh, is potty trained. Um, the reason I take this bag is probably more so for me than it is for her because she is really, really well potty trained. Um, it was it was really, really easy and um, it took no effort really on my part at all. Um, just one thing is that we do take our IKEA potty everywhere that we go. Um, so we have this, um, just a shopping bag. I put inside the potty, I put inside some wet wipes and um, a plastic bag to get rid of any dirty wet wipes. Um, and I also use the wet wipes like for cleaning out the potty as well. It depends where we are. Like if we're um, out somewhere and I just want her to use the potty rather than the public toilet, then I'll just rinse it out. In Dubai, it's amazing because they have something called a shataf, which is like a little shower next to the toilet um, for washing yourself. And I just use that to rinse out the potty and then I'll just dry it with some tissue and then flush it all away. Um, so that's really great. I also take it to the park even though they do have a public toilet um, in the swimming pool. Just sometimes, you know, she forgets, she's busy, she's having a great time, and then she's like, ah, potty, 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 and <laughs> you don't want to scramble to the toilet or be looking for the ne nearest toilet. So it's great if we just take the potty with us. Um, it's really convenient. We've had pool days as well, where we've just had the potty next to our sunbeds, um, and she's just able to really discreetly go, and then I can just take it to the toilet and get rid of it. Um, but a lot of the time she does use the public toilets, like as long as there's plenty available, um, we know where they are and you know we're not in a hurry. Um, but it's great to have the potty on hand. I think I carried the potty with me until Isla was two and then I sort of chilled out a little bit and just used the public toilets. Um, so we're going to do that for a little while. It's really up to you how you do things. Um, but I find it really handy just to take this with us um, wherever we go. So that's it. I hope that video was helpful to you. Um, please let me know in the comments below uh, what, you, what do you carry around with you. Um, is your bag just full of nonsense like mine is? Uh, let me know in the comments. Also, uh, leave me your ideas for future videos. I am busy putting together my content calendar uh, for the upcoming months. Uh, so please let me know if there's any topic you want me to chat about um, or any parts of my life that you'd like to know more about and uh, what we get up to during our homeschool and then please let me know in the comments otherwise subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in the next one take care bye bye